can you get your felony reduced to a misdemeanor? And the answer is sometimes yes. Just because you are arrested for a felony does not mean that you're going to be charged with a felony. In California, a lot of the time, the police will arrest somebody and just charge you or arrest you for a felony. So when you get your paperwork and you bail out, you pay the bail for the felony, and you get paperwork that says that you've been charged with whatever charge it is, a felony. What happens then is the officer submits their report to the district attorney's office, and it's the district attorney's office that determines whether or not this case is worthy of being filed as a felony or whether it is simply a misdemeanor. So quite often this happens in domestic violence cases. I know in Orange County, California, all domestic violence defendants are arrested for felonies. However, when the DA gets the case, they will see that this is misdemeanor conduct. And what determines whether or not a domestic violence case is charged as a felony or a misdemeanor may be the extent of the injuries, if there are bruises, things like that, whether there were children involved, whether there's alcohol involved, there are a lot of factors that the DA's office will take into consideration, as well as a prior history of domestic violence. So there are several kinds of cases in California that we call wobblers, which means they can be charged as either a felony or a misdemeanor. And some of those crimes are domestic violence, sexual battery, theft crimes, grand theft for one can be charged as a felony or a misdemeanor. Burglary can be charged as a felony or a misdemeanor, depending upon where the burglary took place. Um, vehicular manslaughter and assault with a deadly weapon or sometimes we call it assault causing great bodily injury. These are all wobblers in California. So what is the process? First of all, your lawyer will appear in court and talk to the DA about the charges. Some of the things that the DA's office will consider when reducing charges, if you are in fact charged with a felony, would be whether or not, for instance, if it's a drug case, whether or not you have been attending Narcotics Anonymous meetings, if there's alcohol involved, involved somehow, whether or not you've been attending AA meetings or counseling classes. If it's a theft case, there is actually theft counseling or theft, theft therapy, that's a tongue twister, classes that you can attend prior to going to court. And your lawyer can show the DA that you've completed certain number of courses, anger management, AA, counseling, perhaps um, what other kinds of things can you do? Character letters are a great thing if you can get as many character letters as possible from people in the community stating that you are an upstanding citizen, that you are a great person, that they've known you for a long time and you've never engaged in conduct like this. And of course the DA is going to look at your rap sheet. So a DA can make the decision to reduce a case from a felony to a misdemeanor. Not only can the district attorney make that determination, but a judge can grant what we call a 17B motion, which is where the judge will look at the facts. The lawyer will go into chambers with the district attorney and they will explain what the case is about. The defense attorney will say, well, Your Honor, actually, this is what occurred, and this is what my client has done in the meanwhile, and therefore the court should reduce this to a misdemeanor. So there are many, many opportunities and many different situations where this can occur. Of course, most people do not want a felony on their record, primarily for employment reasons, but also because it restricts your ability to possess a firearm in California. It, it affects your ability to serve on a jury and to vote potentially. So these are all things that people are concerned about when they're charged with felonies. The, the good news is that there are many things that you can do to get your case dismissed, to, I'm sorry, get your case reduced. And in some cases dismissed, there are also many opportunities at diversion where you would do maybe mental health counseling, there's drug court, there is veterans court, there is homeless court. There are many different community courts available in at least Orange County, California, where if you attend a certain number of court appearances and meet with probation and do all of the things that they're advising you to do, you can actually get a felony case dismissed. There's also mental health court. So there are many opportunities, again, at least in Orange County, California, where you can have felonies reduced and or dismissed. And all you need is a great lawyer 
I'm Diane Bass, criminal defense lawyer in Orange County, California. If you found this information useful, please hit the subscribe button. And thank you for watching.